the Big Bang Theory, the creation story, evolution of species, the birth of civilization, scientific discoveries, technological innovations, and financial investments are events in the past which has nurtured us to the world we see today. It's our globe, it's our world, it's our home. Without diligence and selflessness, our world will gradually be turned into our death. <coughs> I'm Dennis Nazar, student of Brentford College, representing Ghana. Here with a few words to help us. Our world is an interesting place where everyone and everything lives in accordance with the circle of life, where they depend on each other for survival. Independent of how they might seem, there's a secret behind the continuity of their survival. It's our duty to protect the world preserve it and sustain it with every breath. Prevent it from as much damage as possible. When that happens, we just won't survive. We will cry. Independent of how it might seem, is a secret behind uh, the of its existence. Just as insects depend on plants for nectar, plants depend on insects to be pollinated. More like a worker who depends on his work for income. And as the work depends on the worker for his skills and ability, so as we depend on our natural resources, and our natural resources yeah, we'll depend on us for its continuity and its existence. Creativity, they say, is the residue of failure. Should we wait to reveal our human race before we resort to creativity? Freedom is paramount. That's why in my country, we use our resources as though we don't run out. But that shouldn't be the case. But the future generation depends on us. Why so? Tomorrow, we will not be soon prepared for this yesterday. Mining. Let's look at this. They've destroyed our water bodies in our land. Coal is very expensive, but very limited because it's found deep within the earth. Then it's very expensive. Yes, it is. But most of our machines depend on the fuel to run. What's the problem? The problem is, once coal is being overexploited, there'll be a time when there's no coal. No more coal means no more fuel. No more fuel means no more machines can run. No more machines means back to manpower. All we want to say is we need to conserve. We need to research into other resources, review and check with all our students. Think about it. Are we on the right path? Let's understand that the Earth is the only one that has the atmosphere, the lithosphere, and the hydrosphere for our existence. Where would we rather be? Imagine a world with no coal, no coal, absolutely nothing but the sun. What are we going to do? Sustainable development isn't easy, but it is the way. The only way. It's our goal. It's our goal. It's our goal. Make it a better place.